How to make a marine clock. We're going to take it from a basic clock, bought from Walmart, to this USMC clock. And we're going to jazz up the box a bit. When you get the clock from Walmart, size it, place a new picture on there, reassemble, and hang it on the wall. Or at least put it in the box and make it look really nice. Okay, first thing we have to do is we have to head over to Walmart. And there I am at Walmart. Head over to one of the end caps there and get a $3.88 clock. Dollars and eight cents clocks because they are dollars and eight cents. Uh, they have all colors, so whatever trim that matches with your project, uh, you should be able to match it: gold, black, silver, white, and red. Okay, we have the basic clock right here. Uh, it's a sturdy clock. It's good. It's easy to work with, and it is pretty reliable. It's part of the Mainstays collection, which is the household goods for Walmart. On the back, it has these two screws right here that are used to secure the clock to the box. You're going to keep these because if you want to ship the box or the whole clock with the box off, it's really handy to secure it. I use the screw to secure it back to the box. I keep mine off to the side there. And it's going to pull it out of the box and to the side. And in the back we have six screws. Uh, the Phillips head screws. Let's start removing those screws. And here I am in fast motion, going around moving all the screws. I always say keep the screws in a nice shallow dish. I have a little ramekin off to the side. I use that because it works well, it's easy access, and if, trust me, if you bump into the table and you the screws on the carpet or floor, you'll never find it again. Okay. So, I'm going to want to remove that back. Uh, don't do what I'm doing. I'm pulling from the movement. But just let it uh, use the sides there to pull it out. Move the trim, the glass, place those to the side. Now you have a basic clock. We're going to start by removing the hands. You can remove it easily just with your hands or your fingers. I would say you can do the minute and the uh, second hand, but if you the hour one can be a little tricky, so I always try to get some tweezers, tweezers with a flat head, pop it under there, and just pry it right off. Let's see, that's what I'm doing right here. Bam. Put those off in a secure place. Okay, now we want to measure the face of the clock. Usually from the 9 o'clock position, 3 o'clock position, or the 12 o'clock position to the 6 o'clock position. This one, I got it to be about 7 and a quarter. You can be off by about an eighth of an inch. But like I said, this one, I got it to be 7 and a quarter. The center hole, I got about 1 quarter of an inch, because we're going to have to make the center hole marking in our face print up our object. So, we got those markings ready to go. I'm going to design my face. I use two programs called GIMP and uh, Inkscape. Here I am in GIMP going to Google. Getting an image, a real nice large image for the gold globe and eagle, about over a thousand pixels. I'm going to take it and I'm going to remove the black background using a fuzzy select tool. If you're not familiar with this, this is fine. You can see other how-to videos on YouTube, or I might post some if you guys are interested. So, I have removed that black background. I'm going to go and uh, Google. I looked up Roman numeral clock face. I found this really nice one here. Uh, I'm going to copy and paste that. Uh, it's a PNG, so it didn't come out too well. So, I have to save the whole file and then transfer that file over to my GIMP workspace from Canvas. It's a very large thing, so I'm going to scale it down. And then I'm going to go ahead, after I get that just nice and center, scale down the eagle and the globe. Center up the eagle and the globe. Uh, try to make it as large as possible without touching the Roman numerals. Okay. As I finish that up, I also want to add a drop shadow to the eagle, the globe, and the anchor. So I'm going to select the area around it again. I'm going to use a filter called Light and Shadow, Drop Shadow. I'm going to bring up the opacity, 
lengthen it a bit so now you see it looks like it's hovering over the page and blur the shadow just to give it a little more realistic view so now the ink globe is floating above the Roman numerals I would save it as a PNG and over in Inkscape open up that same PNG file center it up I already have a red circle drawn here to 7.25 remember that's our face and line it up put a center circle of 0.25 because that's where we're going to cut out for the center pinion and print it out when you do print it out I advise you to use your best highest quality photo printing settings I use a laser jet on this one and see how it came out not bad we got that green dot right in the middle 0.25 and that red circle is 7.25 I'm going to go ahead and put some black on it a high gloss finish that protects it from moisture and also gives it a little more of a shine uh, you can use whatever type of uh, high gloss finish I'm going to come bring back in after it dries cut out that center circle pull that right out and kind of get this out of order here and then cut that red line away that's the best method I've used where instead of thinking kind of between the cuts you want to move that red line once I've done that now I have the face with the center circle popped out or cut out now I'm going to add it to the clock face. I advise you on this one, I use double sided tape on the face and the clock face itself or the, or the portrait I printed. Line it up nice and easy. If you do not get it perfect this is the first time, like I said, it's double sided tape so you can remove it. Spray adhesive works well, but it works fast. Just remember that. Okay, with the hand, start with the hour hand, make sure it's nice and straight. Pop it on there. Use your tweezers again to give it even pressure. Press it down. Make sure that the hand is not touching the face of the clock. It's just barely hovering over it. Set it to 12 o'clock. And let's go ahead and put on our minute hand. Make sure it's nice and straight. Put it on there. Let's use our tweezers again. We put even pressure and a firm push down. We want to make sure it's parallel to that hour hand. Give it some spins around. I don't even know this turn spins around. <laughs> some rotations. And finally, with no tools, we're just going to put on the uh, second hand with some firm pressure from our finger. We don't want to not over press that second hand. We see that it's working pretty well. We want to give it more rotation to make sure everything clears. Let's set it down. I already put the screws back on there. Fasten them. And it should be good to go as I flip it over. There is our finished product. It's running well, looks good, and I don't see anything wrong with it. Uh, it's a light background, so nothing should really show up. If you have darker face clocks, you can always have to worry about the lint or anything that might show up on the glass. I'm going to set it to 227 or 228, and we'll let it run for a while. Going over to your Cricut Cutter vinyl, I have some silver and some gold. And I'm going to cut them out with my vinyl cutter. If you guys don't have this, this is fine. This is just a little extra step that I'm adding to decorate the box. I use the silver and gold overlay. Uh, like I said, Cricut cutters or, or silver cutters, you kind of know what to do on this. With our box, we want to jazz it up. We don't want to say mainstay, so we're going to spray it with a high quality spray paint. Always go with a high quality. I use this Rust Oleum Imagine. Here's the box before, and here's the box how it looks afterwards. Nice, glossy, shiny black. Use high quality spray paint. Now I've added the gold letters and the silver letters, USMC. And now we want to take a look at the clock in the box together. I think it came out pretty well looks nice and you can ship it like this or give it as a gift like this I want to take it outside to look you know give it some ambient lighting see how it looks final product and you guys can judge for yourself I probably would have next time used a darker gold for the USMC uh, or, or a more matted one because the two metallics are kind of running into each other here are a few more clocks have done this is some similar to the one we just did this one has a black background with the globe eagle and anchor i painted the hand silver this is a slight variation on the usmc emblem i did this one for a buddy of mine who is in the 82nd airborne division this one is for a female harley davidson rider with some chrome vinyl and silver glitter my name is matt fernandez i own sacopwatch.com hope to hear from you soon and god bless